What's up, everybody? Today, I'm going to try for, uh, well, it's going to be my second session working on the Rogue deep dish plates that I just got in a week or two ago. Uh, these plates are extraordinarily slippery. I did not realize they were going to be like that. Wow. Um, so, just wanted to show you what I do to chalk these up, and it's, it's still not great. This chalk's going to come right off, but you can see... Um, you know, these were chalked last time. This chalk is still there. This was the thumb side. You can see this region, this whole region was bare, but like by the end of the session and every single time you pull on it, the chalk comes off. But I figure the more you do it, maybe the more it'll stick. Okay. The other thing I'm, I might have to do is like on the opposite side, like sand this down to get the chalk to stick a little bit better and use that as a training method for the first lift. But, um, what I'm doing. I've got some powder here. Now there's, like I said, there's several techniques to chalking. Um, I do not put anything on the plates except for chalk. So I don't use any moisture like other people, like some people do. Um, and my, my regular method for chalking doesn't work. So the only way I can get it to stick is just do circles very, very lightly and it'll catch little by little. Gotta use my thumb pad. I learned that from Jesse Pinonen, who was an extraordinary grip sportist. And um, he showed me this method two marches ago. Uh, it's a variation because I think the pressure that I'm using is a little bit different from what he used but it does work somewhat to do it this way. Just have to be patient. With other things, there are other methods that you can use. And I kid you not, there have been times where I've sat for better part of an hour watching TV and just chalking. Even though I wasn't even at the gym, like literally take certain implements home and chalk them on my couch while I watch wrestling or some other show, game shows, The Price is Right, Card Sharks, stuff like that. And gradually as you work the chalk it sticks a little bit better but these are so so slippery guys the chalk just doesn't want to stick and like I said with each attempt that I take a little bit of this chalk is going to come off now you can say well why use chalk the old time strongman didn't have chalk well I really don't care about that argument. If the old time strongman did have chalk, I'm sure they would have used it. And I feel that a lot of those old time strongmen were dishonest anyway. Maybe I'm jaded. Thomas Inch was definitely dishonest. And I question whether or not a lot of those feats that there are pictures of actually took place legitimately, but that's just me. Now you can see, after just a couple minutes or so, I've got a decent accumulation of chalk. I, I like to put, a, put the plate here on, the, on this box squat so that I catch the chalk that falls off and then I can reuse it. You gotta be willing to put the time in in order to get things chalked. You can't just complain that you're, you have a slick implement. Go to work and get to chalking. That's what I say. That's what I do. All right, so there you go. It's on there a little bit. Show you a little close up. It has stuck somewhat and that's okay. 
but it's going to rip right off. You'll see what I mean in just a little. This is attempt number one today. <sighs> you can see the chalk. Chalk is already coming off. Going to take one more try on this and what, I'm, what I've done is per Randy Gentry's uh, suggestion I've washed my hands with um, laundry detergent it's it's a gain product it's green so we're gonna see how this goes he suggested it as a way to approach very slick plates just slip something off. Fingers feel tacky. Slide right off, thumbs especially. It was worth a try. Well, thanks for watching today. Now, I went ahead and shot some other drills that I do when I'm training to pinch 45s or any kind of plates or um, feet object that I'm working on, and that's going to be loaded on thegripauthority.com exclusively. So, if you'd like to see that, go down to the description box and click the link to thegripauthority.com. You can sign up today for $1 for your first month, get access to not only that feature, but everything else that I've ever posted up on the site, including many grip products that are totally free to the members. So check that out today, $1. Cancel anytime you want. All the best in your training, everybody.